Hello, in this video we're looking at Visia. We well, hope that's how you pronounce it. So, well, what is it? Well, it allows you to add interactivity to your videos, very similar to Edpuzzle and PlayPosit that I've reviewed on the blog before. So how do you use it? Well, you log in, you can either log in with your email or with a Google account, and then you come up and you click New Video, and you paste in a video URL at the moment they support videos from YouTube and Wistia. Wistia is a new one on me, so I need to find out more about that. So I'm just going to go to my YouTube channel. And we will find a video that we can put in here. So I'll go to my channel and we'll choose a video. So this one's just come out today, so we'll do this video. So all you do is you just grab the share link copy that back into Visio, post it in there, click continue and then down here you can start to add stuff so we could add a quiz and we could type in the question So we put the question and you can put in your answers. And save. So just like Edpuzzle and PlayPosit, you can add your question and you can drag it very easily along the timeline to the specific point you want. You could do a poll and you could put in your question there. You could also do a response or what I like and it's is a call to action. So it could be you want to them to review a particular thing. Post your thoughts. On the link Padlet. So you could put your and then you could paste in your URL there and save it. Having done it, it's very easy to share. One thing to be aware of if you do gate video, if this setting is turned on, viewers will be able to provide the name and email address at the beginning so you'll be able to see who's responded to what. And then you can either share it via a link or you can embed it into a page. So if you're using a, a VLE, then obviously the iframe would be great for embedding it into a page. Or you could just do a link. And then when we preview it, this is what it looks like. They play the video and when it gets to the point up, pops the question. So there you have it. Visia, uh, another tool to add interactivity to your videos. I could see it being really useful for creating flip learning content, but I could also you see it if you spin on the head, students could use it to review content. So potentially they could watch an ed tech, an ed talk video or one of the other videos relevant to the subject, and then they could comment on it throughout the video and share that with you as the teacher. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please remember to share and like the video and join me again soon for more content. Thanks for watching.